Hmm. Getting set up and then we'll be ready in a bit. Oh, this track sounds like a good one. Oh, this track sounds like. Oh, this track sounds like. Oh. Oh. About to. About to.
All right. Looks like I'm good and ready. Everything's up. It's time to go live. So it looks like yesterday evening I ended off with the photo set I started yesterday. Our wonderful Ari cosplayer, one of the local homies. She always makes sure to come back and work with us. And I always make sure to get a good shoot going with her. Make sure we can get her some quality work back. All right, so I'm just going back over what I did yesterday. Every now and then I kind of forget what I did the night before. Just to make sure I can keep all the photos consistent and re-edit the way I was going yesterday. The 
cosplayer definitely kept it on point, so there wasn't really a lot of uh, editing I needed to do as far as uh, retouching or custom fixes. Uh, everything was where it needed to be. But I know I did a lot of the standard stuff. Uh, every now and then, a couple touch-ups to skin, smooth it out a bit more. It's always appreciated. And then I did some work to bring out the colors. And then I think I went ahead and adjust the background a bit. Usually add a little bit of dodge and burn in there. Just to make her stand out a bit more from the background. So it looks like we have two left, so... I'll go ahead and start on the next one. And we'll proceed as I usually do. So let's move this over to Photoshop. As usual, let's get that destructive layer in there so we can get this started. I don't see anything right off the bat that stands out. There's a weird lens flare thing going here. Not sure if I'm going to edit that out. Might just leave it. I remember from the last four photos, I don't think there was anything to edit on her. Tails have a little bit of fuzzy bits off on the edge here. I might just trim that out really quickly. Realistically though, I don't think most people would have bothered. It was kind of a minor little tell here. That's good enough. Now onto the costume, as her tails weren't real, there were some seams that ran along the edges of the tails. In some of the photos you can see them, and we edited them out previously, but how she's posed here left it pretty much out of view. There's just this little segment right here. If it doesn't bother you, can probably leave it, but it really bothers me, so I'm gonna patch this out with our wonderful patch tool.
And just like that, you can't even tell it's a seam there. Alright, and usually I go through and get some stray hairs out. I mean, there's a couple along the neck here, maybe along the shoulder here that you can edit out. I'm not really going to worry about it. I mean, it doesn't really bother the aesthetic of the image for me, at least in this situation. I mean, there's like maybe one in this one here because it stands out a bit to me. Take our spot healing brush. Lightly bring it all the way along up the hair. Cross hatch it a little bit just to hide the line. Just like that, it's gone. That was pretty quick, not too much I had to destroy from this image. So we'll move on to our next step. Usually sharpen before I edit anything. And most people won't do this because some people photos that are actually really sharp already and preference wise they don't really feel they need to sharpen it more. But if you're bringing from a raw image from your camera, generally you're going to want to sharpen because your camera doesn't actually get all the sharpness out. At least not into the raw file. But if you're working in raw, that generally applies to everything. You don't have all your colors. Everything's just like at a baseline, waiting for you to edit afterwards. Alright, so I think that works. I usually just sharpen enough to get the eyes about as sharp as I need. Beyond that, for portraits, I don't focus on really anything else sharpness-wise. Because then you get areas like here where it's a little overcooked. Everything gets a little crispy looking because you've sharpened too much.
All right, not doing the song, changing the track. Not feeling that one either.
kind of get quiet when I'm working on the really detailed stuff. But for anyone that was watching or is watching this in the future, I kind of blur through or burn through our dodge and burn layers. Generally, my first dodge and burn is always to smooth out the skin if there's any major issues or even lesser issues, because this is where you can blend out the skin tone, get everything really even. It's actually the best way to edit skin. It's actually through dodge and burns rather than actually doing anything destructive to the image. Everything, everyone thinks you should change the texture or edit the skin tone or colors underneath it, but using a frequency separation. But if you get it right on the dodge and burn, sometimes you don't even have to go that far. Of course, all that shit talking, and I still end up just color editing this layer out. Not that it was needed, it was just preference.
I think we're about good where we're at. Like it. Tell you what though, I don't chat much, so I'm finding it really hard to keep talking very long without my throat drying out. It's also starting to be winter here in Arizona, which makes the air really dry. Make those eyes stand out.
pow, 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 pow. Of course, I'm going to tone that roof down. <laughs> I always overdo it a bit. Just so I can adjust to make that all stand out. Looks good to me. If anyone's been watching, I've been done a couple of different things than I normally do. So I've been using the luminosity mask to pretty much highlight all the uh, shadows or the opposite, the highlighted areas. So I can get an edit of those and adjust those specifically in a mask. So right now I've been using it to tweak the hue and saturation. Not that I need to, just that I've chosen to do it that way. that mask a bit. I'm certain there's a lot of people that wouldn't go through the trouble of making a mask to do that sort of color edit. You could do it in Lightroom and split tone it and sort of get the same effect. But I want a bit more control over it. I want to just hit the entire picture with it and call it a day.
I think that'll work. One of the next one. Don't tell me things that I need saving. Finally awake and living. Yeah, yeah. The pressure inside was building. I felt under attack. And now my mind's attacked. And I've chosen my path. I've chosen my
And another one bites the dust. First try. I swear, for some reason, uh, saving takes about like five minutes now. Not sure if it's a file file size issue or there's just so much involved into them that it takes longer to save. I don't know. I'm honestly running on an array of SSDs, so it really shouldn't take that long. But I still find it does. I mean, granted, the file is like two gigabytes for the one photo, so I mean, I can expect some long files times, but I don't know, it really seems excessive. I mean, it probably just bothers me more since it's like 11 at night. Let's close that baby out, back into the light room here. So you can see, left is our start, right is our finish. We're about in line with how we edited the rest of them. They're all turning out really nice. On the last one of the set here, out of our chosen view. Get my butt back into Photoshop. I suspect this one will be pretty quick, just like the rest. There's a little bit more background into this photo, but. Nothing that stands out too much. A little fuzzy bit of the tail here is back in. Correctly, there wasn't anything crazy with the costume chain. There was loose thread right here, bothered me last time. Kind of blurred out in this photo, but I'll go ahead and get it this time. Yeah, most of these were shot in the dark, so like, of the ones I chose, this one was probably the least in focus. I mean, we'll see what we get. I mean, normally I wouldn't pick something that's out of focus at all, but I kind of like the composition. So we'll just roll with it, see what I can do when I edit. I forgot all about it, so now I gotta remember. 
I'm going to approach this one differently. So as far as sharpening and everything goes, there's a couple other tricks we have. Not feeling this track. Let's move to Go ahead and give our regular sharpen a try and see what we get. Now the problem with this is I'm pretty sure since we were just weren't in focus that there's not much you can do generally. Now there's a couple tools in Photoshop that yes allow you to sharpen it up. There's a couple different processes you can take, but you can't really add in detail where there wasn't detail. I mean, this leaves you with a, a situation where you can do a couple things. I mean, you can get really crazy and Photoshop uh, the cosplayer's body from a different picture into this pose. Now, I don't really recommend that unless it's like worst case scenario and you actually have to do that. It's pretty advanced and generally you'll be wasting your time unless you're really good because it's not going to fit very well. Now, you could use just separate body pieces, like maybe if I wanted to Photoshop the head from a different picture in. Uh, you could probably get an all right result if she had a similar pose. But unless your lighting is about the same and perspective is about the same, you're not really going to be able to blend it in too well. Now, it's not impossible though, it's just high level stuff. And I'm not going to put as much that much time into this one photo. Now, of course, if your photo was blurry just because you were shaking a lot, there's a shake reduction tool in Photoshop now that can do some magical work. But it really only works when you were shaking in one direction, or you can replicate the direction you were shaking in. That does estimate. But I guarantee it's usually not correct. Or alternatively, if you weren't actually shaking, it can't really correct what isn't there. Alright, you didn't see the window, but I was messing with it a bit. Looks like that approach isn't going to work. Like I suspected, there's only so much you could do. I mean, you can always double up your high frequency layer. You're, you're not really adding detail, you're just adding sort of noise into the picture. I mean, in some scenarios, that's actually kind of the uh, best approach. But I find it's a fine line between uh, actually sharp and like extra crispy. Is it? We'll see where we get. Not expecting too much.
I usually get quiet when I do this part. I'm just using Daz and Burn to smooth out skin issues. You're not really actually editing the skin in any way, you're just blending the uh, skin tone into a much smoother mix. I know I'm probably not really explaining that very well. If anything, murdering that concept. It's a little hard to think just late at night. Especially if we were up all night last night. Of course, I was debating whether I was going to edit all night tonight. I think I might actually get off and play some games. Being up to Denver for DreamHack Denver. I'm actually going to be in the uh, in your own computer PUBG tournament. I really want the uh, the trip that's up for the prize. Return tickets from uh, DreamHack Sweden. I mean, just flying out there and going to DreamHack Sweden by itself is actually kind of unreasonable, but if I get tickets and win it in the tournament, I might as well go. The only problem is most of my playtime has actually been in third person. I'm going to have to make the switch over to first person. It's going to be pretty tough. I've got like about a month. I think. Oh, actually, even less than a month. Fuck. I've got about two weeks to practice. <laughs> Don't expect much. I thought I had more time than that, and actually, I'm freaking out. It's on two weekends, so I have this weekend and next weekend to practice. Fuck! I am so not going to that tournament, but I'm not going to lose hope. I'm not terrible bad at PUBG, but switching over the first person format is going to screw me. I wasn't really worried about it before, but now that I think about it and realize how close it was. So I think now's probably a good time to freak out.
Or shit. I'm kinda really worried now. I didn't realize how little time I had. I think we're leaving on the 19th. So DreamHack's the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd. And we'll be back on the 23rd. It's about a good week and a half to practice after I finish these photos. If I get them finished. <laughs> Now that I'm super worried about it. Hello. I think I'm going to call it a night after I finish this photo. Knowing that there isn't that much time, I'll have to do some editing and streaming in the morning. I really need to get some PUBG time in.
Alrighty. At least people drop in, they're like, what's this guy doing? And then they leave. Sorry, I'm not that interesting, people. Only so much I can honestly do, though. Kind of a boring process if you're not involved. All right, that should work.
Eh, uh, good enough. It's about as good as that one gets. I probably won't three go for three hours tonight. I think I'm gonna call it an early night. Get some PUBG in. Probably won't stream that. It's gonna be a lot of basic stuff. A lot of quick games working on certain skills. Or working on things I have lack of skills concerning. Save quicker.
Wow, that took forever. And what do we got? Yeah, boy. Dig it. Dig it. I want to make a photographer cardinal sin here. Let's just pretend you didn't see me do it. good all right let's see what we got for the entire set here got a first one here not bad looking really good got the second shot here one of my favorites get that mad heart in there Now, this didn't start as my favorite. I actually thought this one was cool, but after editing it, I like that one the most. So I think that one's going on the Insta. We got a couple follow-up shots. Looking good. And we end it with that. Now five good shots for my homie. I'll have them out to her. Probably won't send them out tonight. I got to gotta get the paperwork done. Package that up. I also have another set for her that I'll edit on stream. Actually, I'm not sure if I'll edit that one on stream. It's a little spicy. Not sure what the rules are on Twitch. I know on Pictaru I can do not safe for work stuff, so I might not be able to do that on YouTube and Twitch. We'll see if I can like shadow stream it some way where two of them get blurred out all the time, just in case. I'm honestly not sure. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow. But with that, I am calling it a night. I'm going to switch over to PUBG. It will not be streaming. So if anyone watches this later, hope you enjoyed what I worked through. And I'm going to keep doing this on the reg. Maybe I'll get more followers. Maybe I won't. And I think tomorrow we're going to get to that tracer I've been trying to get to. I have a couple good ideas there, so we'll see what works up. Anyway, with that, see y'all later.